Um, definitely hope alive, but we're not looking for, uh, looking ahead at all. You know, we're we're one and or we're taking it one game at a time. You know, we know we just have to keep going one and zero, and uh, and that's our whole focus. Pre preparing for these teams that we play. You know, we'll get a little bit of rest, watch some film on this one, and get ready for Nebraska. And that's that's our mindset. That's as far as it goes. What's the difference in the last two games compared to some of the several before that? Um, our preparation. I think we. We're more dialed in now. You know, we're preparing for these teams, knowing that our back is against the wall, that we have to put together wins. And so when you have that, um, it changes some things. You know, our focus is there in a way that it wasn't uh, in games prior. So, you know, we've, we've taken that up a notch for sure. Fair to say desperation. You can use that, yeah, for sure. How much is the energy and how so pressure? Yeah, I mean, just the same thing that I was just saying. It's, we're desperate, you know. Those loose balls mean more when your back is up against the wall. Cove, Cove got on the floor a few times for us. Um, I think we still let up too many offensive rebounds and gave up some loose balls that we should have had. But you know, we, we came up with more than we were we were before. So you know, we're we're trending in the right direction. What can you say about Kobe's kind of consistency? I mean, he seems to always be pretty solid in all stages. Yeah, no, nah, he's awesome. He's a great teammate. Someone you love going to work with every day. And, you know, we got, we got, he's my locker buddy, so we, we have a lot of conversations. He's just, he's someone you love competing with. You know, he's going to give it a, everything you got and works his butt off, and he's, he's a really good player. So, um, you know, we're, we're happy to have him on our team, and I think he's just going to continue to get better and better. How much easier does the game become when Hunter Dickinson is dominating the post as it is today? Yeah, he draws so much attention. You, you know, you, you can't really guard him one on one in the post. Um, and so, that creates, Closeouts and it just it does so much for us when he's scoring the ball and he's being aggressive and you know when we do a good job of getting it inside to him it, it makes a big difference for our offense. Speaking of Hunter, you had a couple of skip passes today. I found you in the corner for one. I uh, got the assist. Just when you have a big who can pass like that, how does it make your job kind of off the ball moving easier? Yeah, I mean I know what the defense is looking for and their 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 top priority is to stop him at the rim and you know I just try and try and get in his vision and. I know that he'll find me if it's uh, if it's there. And uh, when you have that connection, it's it's good good feeling for sure. He's such a willing passer. Yeah, I know you're a big spot up shooter from three, but you've also been taking it to the rim a lot. How how have you seen that part of your game grow this year? Just uh, working, working, working. Keep on working. <laughs> that's that's you know gaining confidence in practice and when I'm getting the the extra work in. Um, you know I. I don't know, I was in a, a weird situation, so it's taken some time to get comfortable, but I think I feel myself just, you know, just competing more. And, uh, and so hopefully that continues. What do you mean by weird situation? Um, like my first four years of college, just a weird role. It was all over the place, you know. Um, and so kind of no, having consistent expectations of what to, what to expect game in and game out has been, been different in a good way. So, Freddie and Bracey Walker 